Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. These are certainly unprecedented times for all sports, including the Indiana State Sycamores. Sports has been canceled for the rest of the spring season, shutting down baseball, golf, softball, spring football, and track and field. Trees, like everyone else around the country, are moving on with life, looking forward to brighter days, as we found out today. It's just a weird feeling. I mean, nobody has any answers, and there's tons of questions. It certainly is all new to me. The Missouri Valley Conference has canceled all intercollegiate athletics through the end of the academic year, meaning the end of sports for now at Indiana State. It all starts with the coaches. I mean, the, they, they recruited them and everything else, and uh, our focus has totally been on their well-being. Not only the seniors, but also the underclassmen, uh, because they're all they're, they're, they're a team. Uh, so I'm, I'm very thankful that we have coaches uh, that generally care about their student athletes, uh, that are invested in their student athletes and their families, and want to see them uh, get through this this tough situation. Baseball wraps up the year undefeated at home, knocking off San Diego in the lone game at Bob Warren Field. Track and field was scheduled to host the Gibson Invite in just a few weeks. ISU women's golf will not be swinging away at the country club. Pads will not pop this spring for Indiana State football. And ISU softball has been shut down before the Sycamores got a chance to play a home game. It's frustrating and disappointing and having a meeting last, uh, <clears throat> last Thursday with our players. We were supposed to be practicing and we got kind of uh, some alerts that say, hey, shut it down. And, and it was heartbreaking to tell our players that. And uh, a lot of tears were shed and, you know, you always want your seniors to go out you know, having a chance to do it on the field instead of having it kind of taken away from them, um, which, of course, I, it's the right decision. Um, but it's, at the same time, everybody's disappointed and frustrated and uh, definitely uncharted territory, and, and nobody knows really what's going on. Now Coach Boots spends time helping his players as they try to navigate through these uncharted waters. You know, just making sure our student athletes are, are number one, they're healthy, number two, School is still going on online, so trying to make sure they keep up with their online courses and things like that. It's, it's kind of frustrating being a coach. Like, I don't know what to tell our players because it's not like, hey, 20 years ago when this happened, this is how we handled it. This is just completely new for everybody. Brighter days are ahead for the blue and white, but for now we can only wait and hope. What I hope is that the underclassmen can see how important it is. Every practice, every game, every workout matters because you never know when it can be taken away. And you know, to our seniors, I just can't thank them enough for all they've done for this university, uh, for the department. Uh, they've made us all very proud. Now that it's taken away, we'll be able to come back. When we do come back, I think there'll be a, a lot more uh, appreciation of our opportunity to play in college. And you know, I think we'll come back a lot stronger.